guys and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 Generations and this is going to be part number 51. So where we previously left off we were kind of dealing with a little bit of a house dilemma. I think I finally figured it out and we are hopefully going to move. Um, Kirsten actually did pass away in the previous part and things got extremely hot and heavy with um, Mrs. Tara Chase and Sawyer. I'm kind of contemplating in my head, which I'm not going to tell you where we're going to go with the story. Um, I'm not 100% sure. I don't know if you're going to like it. You might. You might not. But it's not going to happen in this part, but it's going to maybe happen soon. I've got an interesting change of events or twist of events or whatever. But whatever. We are just going to pick up where we left off. And Connor actually needs to go ahead and get his little caboose over to work. Um, right now, I'm noticing a little lag. A little strangeness is going on here. Okay. Cherry actually, or Sherry, I called her Cherry, um, actually got a promotion today, and she is now promoted to Key Grip. She earned an extra $300, and now she makes $33 an hour and works from 7 to 1 p.m., which is actually not too bad. Um, she has some decent hours, to be honest, and uh, she's going to be aging up today. Our Sherry... Springston is now going to be an old lady. I honestly can't even. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't imagine. I don't know why the hell she wears this outfit. But yeah, she's going to be aging. It's kind of sad. To be honest, Connor is actually a few days behind her. Um, Connor's glitching too a little bit today. I don't know what's going on with him. But he is actually going to be aging up in five days. And we're going to have him prepare for game. Because, you know, I think his games have been kind of sucking a little bit lately. I don't know. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's just a little strange to me to think that, you know, our Sherry is going to be an old lady. But all of her children are all grown up. And things are just, you know, just kind of progressing in life. And it's kind of sad to see them go and uh i know a lot of you are like i pay no attention to writer whatsoever but it's kind of it's kind of true um i've been a little preoccupied <laughs> i've been a little i'm just gonna i get like so many laughs from freaking peanuts caca what this um he's like too cool to be having an imaginary friend but yet yeah, this kid just won't shake him or this girl i don't even know girl boy whoever um just simply just won't go away and now he's complimenting me it's a little creepy i don't know Peanut might turn into be uh, Pe Penelope, and it might be a girl. I don't know. I don't know how we can make her a real, a real, a real thing. I don't know. Actually, did he just get home from school? He did. So he's gonna go ahead and uh, foot and handball. It's a little strange. He's gonna just spend some time with Peanut, I guess. Sure. Uh, let's just try to really max out their friendship, and maybe we will um, get a uh, opportunity to make. Uh, peanut real I don't know if that would be possible I don't know I don't know how to do this but we're just gonna try I think if you max out their friendship you might get something at some point so I think if we become best friends or of some sort okay a total shoe in it's time to capitalize on your name Connor Springston it's quite catchy you've been asked to read signing better shoe deals because it's simply in your best interest your boss thinks the lessons learned from this book will improve your job performance okay sure we'll do it we'll read the book I guess it couldn't hurt right so let's just uh, keep going on here um, we are going to ask about day uh, offer to make real. Um, the imaginary friend Menamore p p p Potion must be in your Sims inventory. And how exactly do we get that potion? I don't know. I think we have to find the potion. Maybe we can buy the potion. I'm actually going to see if we have one of those elixir shops. Um, I think it's the botan botanic, 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 yeah, I think it might be here. Um, otherwise we can figure it out. We'll figure it out. Let's just do that. Let's just spend a little time on this imagine imaginary friend deal since we do actually have the option to make him real. We might have to make the potion, which Ryder I don't think has any sort of skill in any of that, but we can definitely try. Let's just check up up on our little opal. She um, ages up in four more days. She is sleeping so peacefully. Tara and um, Austin are actually 
being a little romantic. And I still need to figure out how to make Amelia um, be able to walk in the daylight. And actually, one of you guys let me know that it is possible using our lifetime rewards points. Adza. Yes, I would love to use that more so than using a cheat. Um, body and personality would be my guess, is that's where it would be. Um, immortal, yes. Okay, so she she's going to become immortal, I think. The best thing about becoming a vampire, becoming, okay, become the greatest of vampires by tolerating sunlight and never dying of old age. Dude, she never ages as it is, right? Yeah, age, never. So, I mean, she's already immortal, which is kind of strange to me how she became immortal. So she does have this opportunity to work out for four hours and gain some, you know, celebrity points, which totally Amelia is about that fame. I mean, she is a Springston after all. I mean, she, duh, everybody knows who the Springstons are because, God, they're the most dramatic freaking bunch of people you'll ever meet. And so we're going to have her go ahead and work that body out for four hours just to gain some celebrity points she's gonna go visit the muscle factory and once we kind of kill out some of these little guys we're definitely gonna work our way to the immortal um thingamajigger oh she actually has to go to work so just kidding let's just check up on our ride or die hopefully we can get in here and get some um idea if they actually do have the potion or not so I think they close pretty soon here. So let's just uh, get this in real fast. This is kind of a creepy place. So let's see what we can buy. Um, I don't know if it would be here. I'm just kind of doing a general guess. It could be here or the, um, where else could it be? It could be actually in the consignment store too because sometimes they sell potions and stuff like that. But we're going to give it a go. We're definitely going to try here. I'm just kind of looking around to see what is here. Um, okay. Large and in charge. Take a drink and gain weight quickly. Hmm. Potent. The perfect antidote. Hmm. No. Don't think this is it. Um, unleash your inner beast and become a wolf with this elixir. I don't even think we need this, but I kind of almost want to buy it because just because. You know what I mean? I think it'd be kind of cool. So we're just going to buy it. We don't need it, but we're going to buy it just to have. And hopefully he never actually does drink this. I don't even think he can right now if he wanted to. Oh, he can. He can actually use the elixir on himself. Could you imagine? This would be a supernatural LP for sure. Um, but again, I don't know what I'm doing. I might. I don't, I don't know. There's just so much I don't know that I don't even know. But... This is definitely not the place that has it. Again, I'm trying to do this the easy way. Granted, we might actually have to just work our cabooses off um, and hopefully discover the potion or discover how to make the potion. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. But let's go see if we can find the consignment shop. I forgot what that looks like. It looks like a big old simoleon, right? So... Consignment shop, pets, pets, pets. That's a pet store, apparently. I don't see anything about no consignment shops, dude. That kind of sucks. Uh, South Park Bridge. Here we are. Oh, my goodness. This is the fishing shack. I don't know if this would actually have the consignment stuff or not. Um, consignment register. It sure does, but... I don't know if it'll be here by the time that we get down here. So let's just hope and pray that we get here in time so we can go ahead and do that. Poor ride or die. He is like driving all over or actually riding all over just trying to get himself to be able to make his friend alive. So we'll, we'll definitely give it a go here and hope that it works. All right. Amelia is working at work. Um, he is preparing for game. Right now we've got her just kind of doing what it does. Do. Um, she does actually need to befriend her cast members a little bit more, which is probably important. So we're going to have her call this guy that looks a lot like freaking Kyle Berman and give him a little ring -a -ling, ling here. So let's go ahead and do that. I think we have a long way to go before we even get close to the stupid consignment store. I don't know who the hell made it so damn far away. And we're going to move too, but I want to wait until like Sherry gets older and then like everything gets kind of figured out. She should be actually aging in this part. Um, 
anyways but i don't really know if we want to have like a big celebration for her because she's kind of vain in that sense like she definitely isn't like wanting to age and i don't know i think she's aged quite gracefully she's very beautiful in my personal opinion amelia what are you doing she wants to skinny dip in a pool of course you do boo of course you do she is feeling inspired from viewing art yes because she's she's artistic god what a freaking um a double whammy. She's artistic and a vampire. Yes. Very, very posh. Um, these two have been like romantic all over the place all day long. Don't understand um, why this is going on. And Sherry and Tara are actually kind of improving their relationship too. Um, which is kind of nice, you know. I don't know what decided that to make that happen. Um, oh, it's Sherry's birthday. Oh my god. Yes, she's doing it solo dello, you guys. <gasps> Oh my god, I'm a little excited, but a little sad. It's kind of like a bittersweet thing. I think the stupid consignment store is closed. And let me guess, Ryder's there, right? Ryder's there. And it is shut down, right? There's nobody here. Ah, oh, store closed. Oh my goodness. All right, well, fine. We're going to have him go ahead and go home. But I'm not going to make him do this whole, like, loop-de-loop -loo thing that he just did. We are going to go ahead and... um. We are going to just teleport me here. Okay. I didn't want to give it away, but I feel like some of you actually kind of get the story with uh, Tara in Austin. This is what I was... I don't know if I should keep it a secret or tell you. I don't know yet. But look at this freaking outfit that she's wearing. Oh, good granny gorgeous. What the hell is going on with you? All right, let's just hop into um, Enros real quick and give this chickadee a quick makeover. But okay, my theory is because Austin realizes he isn't good enough for Tara. He isn't, you know, the best father to Opal. He believes she deserves more. What if he disappeared? You know, like what if, you know, that is kind of similar to what happened with Taryn. Who is old, by the way? Like, you guys want her to come back. Um, who knows what could happen with that? Um, God damn. Ooh, I shouldn't say that, but damn, but look at those ah, browns. They are all sorts of cry. Um, you guys want her to come back, but she's old. And I feel like that would be kind of similar to what happened with, with Taryn if we had Austin kind of go on his own and go do his own thing and then end up leaving and Tara and Amelia and Opal with the freaking Springston family and then that way we can kind of play Tara and you know um see what could happen with her and Sawyer you know I don't know how that would be because in my eyes I feel like Tara is a Springston she's just not a biological Springston but Opal is a biological Springston so we would still be in the same ball park none of these look good on you boo boo um, I don't know. It's just some ideas and tossing around. Like I said, I don't really even know what's going to happen with her and Sawyer, actually. I don't even know. With this whole freaking marriage situation, like, he's trying to make her jealous. Like, I don't even know if she would entertain the idea. But she definitely wants to meet up with him and ask him, what the hell is going on? Like, why are you saying you love me? But clearly, like, you know, like, it's kind of strange. But we'll see how the cookie crumbles. I'm in no rush at all. So let me go ahead and pick out a damn hairstyle. I've been, like, doing this for 45 minutes. Haven't figured out what I want to put on Sherry. I don't even know. Um, I'm not used to this old life here. Let's go check in the hat section. She, um, she looks the same, kind of. I think she just isn't... I don't know. God, look at this hair. This is like a rat's nest with a little feather in it. I don't know. She kind of aged a little more brash than I think um, Kirsten did. This reminds me of Carly so much. Oh, I miss her. Carly Berman. Yay. Uh, no, we are not doing Remader. This is just, okay, now I'm just getting a little, a little crazy here. This one is what Maxine has. I don't even know what to put on her. Um, I'm going to go ahead and kind of do what it do, and I will see you guys in a split second. All right, so here is our Sherry. She's actually not too shabby. I'm a little impressed with this woman. She actually cleans up quite nice. Um, I did definitely tone down her makeup a little bit. I gave her this updo just because I felt like it was the only thing I really liked on her. And then I did kind of dress her up a little more than normal. But again, she's old and she she still wants to feel good about herself. She still, she still is the sassy girl we've always known. Um, so I feel like for her... This is definitely a little more appropriate, um, even if it is a little overdressed or whatever you may 
you may think or you know whatever anyways moving on so this is her looking all old and super fresh um she definitely looks a little haggard i'm not gonna lie um I don't even know what to say about her. It's her birthday, and she wants to buy um, something worth $100. Do we have a hot tub? I thought we did. Oh, we're going to move anyway. So Connor is still working. He should actually, you know, he's not. He wants to invite Sophia over. So is he getting the hot for younger women? I don't know. But they've been together for such a freaking long time. Like, let's go ahead and check it out, shall we? He has been in a relationship with Sherry. Oh, my goodness. For 34 days. But I feel like it's been a lot longer than 34 days. Because this part has been freaking um god we're on part like what 51 so i mean they've been together since like pretty much the dinosaurs uh i think sherry's present to herself is just kind of moving into a better and nicer home i don't know if we can even afford this house but we're definitely going to um we're gonna try so let's go ahead and move within this neighborhood okay got a house kind of lined up it's by steph sims i love her houses the only thing i don't like is that they're very cluttered um so i may remove a few things I, I think a lot of that is just because she uses some custom content stuff that i don't have and my game just dubs it and kind of writes over it a little bit um so i think that might be what a lot of it is and i don't even think we can afford this house uh are we cereal right now? Oh, we are so cereal. Okay, this house is actually 200 and so we need like 30 more freaking guys. Okay, so let's go see who has some points to spend. Granny Smooth Skin here does. Okay, Connor, you are going to be my lifesaver. And we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to cash in some of his um, inheritance points. So hopefully that did it. Um, because, you know, Kirsten died, so... You get some inheritance points. It makes sense. And then Kirsten cashed in all of her money, too, um, to help us out before she passed away. I am actually a little – I don't know if I feel weird, but I kind of feel weird that everybody is, like, getting old. And it's kind of like, ah, I don't like it. But, gosh, they've been around for, seriously, such a long time, you know? So it makes sense. It really does. I wonder how Connor's going to think about his wife being old now. I don't think he cares. He's not really that kind of man. He probably loves Sherry the same – Maybe, I don't know. Waiting for freaking Amelia to decide that she wants to um, have 30,000 points too. Lifetime happiness points. So then that way we can... Are you serious? Oh, oh my God. Okay, let's go ahead and see if we have the money here. Um, We're freaking 4K short, dude. Do we have anything to sell? Uh, I guess just this car, but that's not even worth anything. Um... Let's check. We've got to have something worth money, you guys. Something, something, anything. Okay. Do we have anything in our inventory? No, we are not selling Austin's motorcycle. Because this is technically for them, you know what I mean? Um, okay, we've got some stuff in here. I'm pretty positive that's worth some dough. Um, one of these has got to be worth something. So we're going to go ahead and sell all of this. This is like stuff that we've gotten for free. Yada, yada, yada. It'll work. So let's just try this one more time here. We are going to go ahead and, uh, gosh, I feel like we've done this for like the last hour. We're going to try this one more time. Hopefully we have enough money. The sky is so gorgeous right now. And this home does have the exact requirements that I, I want. Um, I feel very comfortable in this house, but hopefully we'll be able to make this new one our own. I'll probably delete a lot of things that are in it reorganize the rooms but the, the the actual structure of the house is beautiful it's really 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 beautiful so we do have enough we just barely 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 have enough um we're gonna go ahead and sell everything and that leaves us with literally sixteen hundred dollars to our name so the home is worth a quarter of a million so it kind of makes sense that there's some sacrifices along the way but it's a little crazy to me um to i i think a little nuts it's a little expensive but it's a nice house it's beautiful i mean stuff sims gosh she makes like the most i mean i literally was looking at her like a sims 3 facebook and i was like seriously this chick is so talented <laughs> can't even make a room can't even make a room with four walls but she's like got these houses that are like crazy it's like and, and i've seen her like house builds too and it, i'm blown away like Within the first, like, three minutes of the house build or the life. She wants a cane. Oh, my God, girl, you are not that old. Okay, whatever. Um, she She's already, like, got 
you know, this thing done and it, it, like the house is already built and she's moving on to like the landscape. I'm just like, Psh, girl, please stop, stop, just stop. Okay, you're killing me here. You, you, you're killing me. It's just too nice. So, uh, I'm a little confused why nobody's, nobody's leaving. All right, there we go. Looks like we're all going to be moving to the new house. Connor's got Opal in tow here in a little stroller. How cute. Definitely. Um, it looks like Amelia got a promotion. So she is now on level three. Obviously killing the, uh, the, the, whatchamacallit career. And we got a toy Funda wagon. Very nice. Oh, Amelia's running real quick. She's getting inside the house. Okay, so this is the... One that I picked, and I don't know if Connor is doing what exactly to Opal? Oh my god, you pedophile. I don't know what he was doing, like bending arms backwards. I don't know. She is not one of the, you know, what is it called? I feel like she's one of the, like, Marvelous Four or something. I for, I am not into the superhero life, but something of that sort. Uh, do we not sell this? Um, Stolen. Who stole <laughs> this? Who stole this? Austin. You stole the freaking... He freaking stole this car. I'm pretty positive he did. What a turd biscuit. He totally jacked this car right here. I was like, where the hell did we get this from? Okay, yeah, he did. He totally stole it. He needs to go back to work, though, bro. Oh, my gosh. He's going to end up missing some serious work today. But, no, he totally jacked it. Okay, so this is our new house. Yeah, super duper freaking cluttered. I know. Um, what it looks like, gosh, I can't even show you because it's just so much stuff, but it's really pretty, I promise. So what it looks like is you go through here. This is like the foyer, which is like gorgeously, gorgeously done. Over here, we have one of the bathrooms or no, not bathroom. Is there a bathroom in here? No, it's just like the laundry room, which is kind of cool. I like that it's not in the kitchen. Um, and here is a nursery with tons of goodies and things of that sort. Over here is the bathroom that's in the nursery, which I really adore. Here we have like a guest bathroom um, with the full full amenities. Over here is kind of our kitchen area. We have a little bakery thing and a whole bunch of cool stuff. I love the toys. See, it's really not that cluttered with the walls up. It's when the walls are down. And Amelia's sitting her little caboose right down and watching some TV that it looks a little crazy. So, I mean, it is what it is. Like, I honestly probably will remove a few things. Like, we honestly don't need three wall clocks. But, you know, I really love it. I think she's so talented. And, she, you know, obviously each house you make to your own, you know. She just makes it how she likes it or, you know, whatever. And you just make it to your own. But hopefully nobody takes it as an insult. I'm just saying they're a little cluttered. But I don't know. Anyway, that is the outside. We have a... Uh, what should we call it? A trampoline and some other goodies and just a lot of fun stuff. Bicycles and I just I just love her attention to detail. It's insane. So upstairs we do have these L-shaped stairs. Um, we have this little area here, uh, and then there's a room. This is going to be Amelia's room. I feel like it's pretty goth and it would work. So this is gonna be Amelia's room. She finally has her own room. This will probably be um, writer's room <laughs> or. No, I think this could be writer's room. But then this would have to be... See, this is definitely going to be Connor and Sherry's room. That will be writer's room. This will have to be Tara and Austin's room, but we're going to have to edit that a little bit. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and um, we'll do that a little bit later. I'm not too, too worried about it. But this is kind of what's up right now, and this is obviously going to be Opal's room. It's... Kind of girly, guyish, not so much, but uh, we can go ahead and kind of color or change some things. I mean, it's kind of like a multi-sex room. I really do love the colors um, that she did in this. She's just, oh, she blows me away. But let's go ahead and just kind of mess around with a few things. I'm going to clear out these rugs. We don't need this. We don't need that. I don't need that. I don't need that or that. Um, I don't need this. Let me see what else. I don't really like these here. I like this, though. This is actually kind of cute. So let's just put that. I like simple, you know. I'm just a very simple chick. This has nothing to do with this room. See, I definitely think these are generated, like, randomly sometimes. Like, if you don't have what she used, so that makes sense. But, all right. I'm going to use a different crib, too. Um, let's just go and see what we can find. We don't have a lot of money to be too, too picky, but we can totally just make it work, right? So I think I'm also going to sell the um, Yoshimoto van. Since we have that other one that's a little bit cheaper right now. And then I actually want to 
kind of keep this color palette. I, I don't forgot what, Opal fa what Opal's favorite color is. Let's go check it out real fast. You can make it work for her. She loves violet. So I'm thinking some violet accents in this room would be gorgeous. Uh, let's start with the crib. I'm going to stick with the palette she's got going on in here. So let's just do this. Okay. And then I'm thinking of doing some fabric. Some violet. Um, definitely going to have to lighten this or darken this up a little bit to make it match the rest of the room. This is not violet dead. Oh, my God. Eh. I don't know if I like that at all. Let me see. Some violet colors here. More of like a... That's pretty. Okay, so I kind of like this. And then I can do the same with the drapes in here. Ooh, yes. Those are gorgeous. I love these drapes. So we'll pick those and then we'll... Um, how do I change the top of them? Is this it? I don't know. Oh, I think I'm doing something else right now. Whoops, whoops. Okay. There we go. I think I got it. Do I got it? Yeah. Okay, I'm just playing around, you guys. Sorry. <laughs> ah! Okay, should we do darker? That's pretty. All right, I'm loving this. And then this wall is going to be like a violet, too, I think. It should be maybe be like this, a little darker color, too. And then this can be like a light blue kind of incorporate what she already had in here because she's giving me amazing ideas like that I love it okay and then maybe sticking with uh, this color theme for the rug just slap it on there and see kind of what it does don't really like that too much don't really like that at all to be honest mm. maybe I'll just do all one color Actually, that doesn't look too bad. Okay, so we got kind of this going on right now. It's a little crazy, you guys, I know, but hopefully you're still hanging in there with me. And if you are, I totally love you and appreciate you right now because trust me, this is all sorts of craziness. I hate doing this on camera. You guys already know that. Like, I just hate it, but it doesn't, it's not too shabby. Um, the rocking chair is cute. We can keep all that. So there we go. It's just a little bit less cluttered. And it's really, 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 really pretty, and I love it. So we're going to go ahead and stay with that with Opal and see how that plays out for her. This will be her room that she'll pretty much grow up in. And I think it's a nice house. It's pretty, and I, I think it'll be perfect for the family. It's just a little overwhelming right now, just moving, and I hate moving. So let's just see what we can do with Opal here. I think she's a little hungry. I don't know if there's a high chair here. Um... But I'm going to actually have Connor go ahead and feed her because she is screaming. The move has probably got her all sorts of crazy right now. Is he feeding her? Yeah, he's feeding her on the floor. Tara is over here. And then Con or, uh, Austin's actually going back to work. Amelia. I don't think there is a hot tub and we don't have money for one. So we're just going to have to wait for that. Um, I'm going to see who has the um, thing in their freaking inventory. The truck. I think it probably would be Sherry. She kind of claims stuff like that. If, if it is, I know her pretty well. Yeah, it totally is. So we're going to sell it because we don't need it. And we're going to sell it for 20 grand because we need the money more than anything in the whole entire world. She actually wants to travel abroad. And I was thinking about having them get them going back to Setra um, to kind of visit everybody and things like that sort. I'm thinking I might actually do that since she does want to travel abroad with Connor. I mean, it would be kind of cool just to like maybe take like a day trip sort of thing. Like we'll go there. And then we'll uh, probably we'll do this in the next part because this part's already kind of running out of time here. But um, I was sort of kind of thinking that that would be nice to visit Blake and things of that sort too. But uh, I don't know. There are, actually, Tara has a really good relationship with just about everybody. Um, I guess, gosh, I really don't want to spend this whole part editing. But I kind of feel like we definitely need to... Um, make a space for Connor or I keep calling him Connor Austin and um and Tara this is just really cute I love the room so much um so we're probably gonna keep like uh, I don't know we'll, we'll figure it out I like this light though so we'll do that and we'll leave the chevron um blinds there and we'll just kind of keep this stuff I just ah uh, I'm so I'm so amazed, man. I really am. Okay, I'm going to probably do a lighter wood in here. I think that kind of makes things 
a little more a little more schmexy. Um, let's pick out a bed. Gosh, I'm so boring. I think that's what my problem is when it comes to decorating. I'm like, eh, I don't like it. Less is more. Um, I'm gonna, gosh, now I wish I didn't delete that bed. Speaking of deleting, I accidentally deleted. Seriously, you guys are gonna smack me, but I like deleted part number 30 of Let's Play the Freaking, um, baby, uh, let's play the Sims 100 baby challenge and like, it was a good part, man, but whatever. What are you going to do, right? Sometimes things happen in life, and there's no control over them. I have a feeling that Tara's making this room a little more girly than she really needs to, but, you know, it's kind of... He's never even here anyway, so, like, why are we even caring at this point? Like, I don't even know. He's never here. She's just kind of used to it, so we're just going to play low-key and do whatever the hell we want to do to this room. Okay, so... Oh, I like this painting. Where did I get the... Oh, I think it's because I downloaded some custom content. I really like it. Uh, I don't even know what else to decorate. What do you guys think? What painting should we use? What is this? Oh, I thought that was something inappropriate. I was like, um, and yeah, I put it up there, right? I know. It's amazing. This is kind of a pretty painting, too. Uh, I don't know how I like this. It kind of looks nice, right? Let's try out one of these. Pretty. Okay, so we'll just keep it like that for now. See, I'm very like simplifying things. So um, I'm also gonna delete that. I don't really need it. Um too 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 much. But definitely Athena's I mean, oh girl, don't even start that kick. Amelia's room over here, Tara's over here. We're gonna have her go ahead and go to sleep, and then Amelia's gonna go sleep over here. Um what? Uh I can't use this. Why? It's a little weird, isn't it? I've never had that glitch before. Um, okay, so I'm just kind of just duplicate this bed. Right? And then just delete it. Like, I don't understand what that was about. That was a little weird. I've never had that happen to me before. Okay. Well, we're going to have her go ahead and go to sleep. And uh, this room is definitely perfect for her. Like, I swear she had this. She had Amelia in mind um, because this is totally up her alley. This little crazy, like, plant thing though not so much let's go ahead and delete that though i definitely want her to meet maxine somehow so guys give me your ideas what do you think how should she meet maxine because it definitely needs to happen you know i feel like it would be perfect and he's still missing work austin oh my god you're killing me son uh what are they doing are they fighting or are they being flirty i don't understand what's going on nope they are oh damn i like your gray tassels I'm oh, pretty sexy. What's Ryder doing? He's doing his homework because he is such a good guy. Here he is in our brand new living room. I'm loving this house. Um, and it looks like Opal is taking quite... Where is our friend? Oh, no. Don't tell me. We lost him. Is he here? Where is our friend? Peanut? Peanut! Okay, you're... Pe you're, you're ooh, I almost said you're penis, but, you know, <laughs> if I didn't say it, I didn't know. Uh, we definitely need to get ourselves the um, little... Oh! What is going on now? Is this seriously happening to me? Oh, this is so happening to me right now. Oh, don't do this, because I'll be having a, I'll be throwing a BF, pulling a freaking white chicks situation. Are you serious right now? What the hell is this crap? I'll be back, maybe, hopefully. If not, I love you guys. <laughs> All right, guys, I think we're kind of stuck here, um, which kind of sucks a little bit. I'm not 100% sure as to what's happening. I um, think we're going to lose all of our progress for this part, but it's not really that hard to pick up. I mean, we didn't do a ton, a ton of things. Um, so don't worry. Like The next part, we'll kind of pick up from where we left off. But still, all the suggestions, everything that I had asked about in this part, just let me know in the comments down below. I'll figure this crap out. It'll be no big deal. Um... But, yeah, I guess I'm going to have to go ahead and end it here, which kind of sucks. But uh, I want to thank you guys so much for watching anyways. Don't forget to go ahead and comment, rate, and subscribe. I feel like I'm striking out today, but that's all right. And uh, I will see you all in my very next Let's Play. <laughs> Bye, guys.